Hello and welcome to uh, the latest edition of Canutillo Combos, the official Canutillo ISD podcast. I'm Gustavo Reveles, the director of communications for the school district. I'm here with wait our up, fearless wait leader. Up. You didn't like say Happy New Year. Happy well, I'm about to say that. I, I'm about said, to say that. So, come on, dude. Uh, like you know, three. Well, I, was, I was going to introduce you and then uh, say uh, uh, Happy New Year. So, of course, uh, our, we're here with our uh, fearless leader, superintendent, Dr. Pedro Galaviz. And special guest. Special, special guest. We have uh, with us today uh, our uh, new board president and uh, Canotillo legend here, Miss <laughs> Patsy, Patsy Mendoza. Mendoza. Welcome, Miss Mendoza. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Happy New Year to you, uh, uh, all of Canotillo. Happy New Year. You know, we're, we're back and, and uh, fresh... Uh, take for start for the school year i mean for the for the year not the school year where we're starting off the, the semester here uh hopefully everyone is back rested re-energized and ready to tackle the second half of the school year yeah let's go let's go i'm excited with miss patsy board president leading us yeah you know it's uh uh miss patsy you 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 were a canotillo alumna right yes. and uh and Class of 74. Class of 74. 74. Very good year. But, see, but I say yeah. It was. <laughs> it really was. Listen, I, I, uh, I still get together with uh, some of my classmates. We get together about once a month. Um, very proud to be from Canotillo. I still have the same friends that I did growing up. Um, I wouldn't think of living anywhere else. I wouldn't think of educating my children anywhere mm. else. Well, you know, and, and it's it's really telling that you're 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 selected first to the school board, obviously, and, and, and a school board president. There's few people that have sort of the pedigree that you do when it comes to Canotillo, you know, an alumna. Uh, you know, and then sure, and then in which you work here in the district, retired from the school I district, did. and now serving the school district I in this did. capacity. I, I retired from Canutillo after 33 years of service, uh, and, and you know, Canutillo has Canutillo School District has been very good to me. Mm -hmm. It helped me raise my children um, and helped me educate them. So. Coming back on the school board is my way of paying back. So I guess, you know, service, right? You know, we work, Gus and Miss Laura, Happy New Year, Miss Laura. Um, but to serve, right? You've gone through as a student, 1974. Right. You've worked here. Right. Um, I've been here going my 10th year. But from the onset and now what you see today serving as a school board member when you see all this construction you see that Walmart you see what what is that 1974 was there a Walmart was there not was there we didn't have a we didn't even have a burger place no we did we had a place called the Eagle's Nest on Donovan <laughs> oh, it wow. was the only place that we could go have a burger um, you know one of the greatest things that puts a smile on my face is going into Walmart and looking at a child wearing uh, a t-shirt that says Deanna Davenport mm -hmm. Elementary School. It, you know, it, it just instills in me uh, a great amount of pride and, and usually what will happen is I'll go over and I'll say, hi, I really like your shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, and ask, you know, who's your teacher? Uh, do you like your school? That kind of thing. It, it's just so rewarding um, because when I graduated, I think we were a class of um, under 70. And so to see the graduating classes uh, that, that, have, that has been my pleasure to see uh, during my term for a school board and see those faces come through. I don't think, you know, I, I hate to do this, but I, I don't think there's a better feeling than that. The pride that you see in the parents and the grandparents' faces, and they take that 
on with them. Um, and hopefully they'll come back and do a little bit of service back to the district. Well, you know, that's what it's all about, right? I mean, right. we all work towards the, the, that graduation moment. Absolutely. And making sure that these kids not just walk in their caps and gowns, but they're ready for what's, what's right. after. Right, right. And, and, you know, Ms. Patsy, you haven't been here uh, all these years. Uh, it must be exciting to see sort of the the difference, right? Uh, you know, Canotillo was the gritty school district back then, and, and you guys made made do with very little back very then. Very little. Very little, and and, that, and and you guys have take pride in that sort of and uh, in, in, in that resiliency that 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 was there, but now uh, the Canotillo of today. It, it it's it's amazing to see. I often think, you know, what what would my parents, uh, what would my mom say if she saw a Ross? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, just a Ross yeah. in our school district. Um, you know, we were always told. You know, El Paso's got nowhere else to grow but this side. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so we've been waiting for it for a long, long time, Gustavo. It's here. And it's here, boy. It's and here. we're going to bust at the seams yeah. with kids. Yeah. Because that's what's coming. I mean, we are we already are in many, many parts of our district, right? right. And, and, and that's why I think the school board, or, or at least it's my hope that we're going to take initiative and get ready. Um, to prepare uh, for these kids that are coming yeah. and all the houses that are being made to make sure that we provide a, a safe and a clean environment. Right, and, right. And that's our job. And Doc, I think, I think what's, what's uh, so interesting about the way we're growing is that we have a beautiful history here in Canotillo of serving a, a specific type of community, you know, a very proud community that maybe was rural at the beginning and, and very humble. Uh, and now we still have the, 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 that community, but it's peppered with all these new, this new growth, this new, this new kind of Theo people that is also um, modern and, 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 you know, from out of town and, and uh, looks differently, perhaps speaks differently, but nonetheless are part of kind of Theo. Right. Right. I think you're right. Carol Tia just reminds me of a middle school student. Right? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, oh, geez. You know, but it's like they want to be small, like elementary, you know, with their, you know, and, and go back and Santa Claus and love mom and dad. But then yeah, they want to be grow and be big and drive. And, and so it's like that in between those phases. That, and I think the awkward. The awkward yeah, stage. The awkward <laughs> stage where, you know, they, you know, and, and I won't mention the stages of, of, of adolescent, but they, they are, you know, again, we're growing, but yet we still have a, a, a foundation, uh, the elementary, where, where it all starts. Yeah. And, and I think yeah. sometimes we need to remember that as we go forward. Yeah. Anyway, happy school board appreciation. It is school board appreciation. Thank you, Thank you so much. It is, it is a, a special month for us. Obviously, our school board members are uh, and, and are the, the, the group of people that, that help us lead the way. Uh, I think a lot of times these, these people go unappreciated. Uh, people don't realize the type of work that this this takes, right? It's it's a f another full time job for Absolutely. for all of you, uh, and with a grand salary of zero dollars. Right. <laughs> you know, I kind of chuckle because uh, uh, I just had the other day uh, an old friend of mine came by and uh, and says, "Hey, I hear you're on the school board," and I said, "Yeah, I am." She goes, "How much does that get paid?" <laughs> <laughs> and I laughed and and I said, "Nothing." She goes. You do all that for nothing? And I said, no, it's not for nothing. It's for, you know, the, the ability to make uh, and guide the school district mm -hmm. in the path that we, we need to go. Yeah. And I feel like we're a really progressive kind of district. Um, we've got a lot of awards uh, due a lot to Dr. Galavisa's leadership. Definitely. And yeah. and it's just, I, I just feel very privileged and honored to be here. I really do. Well, wait, wait. Let's give a shout out. We got Patsy Mendoza, our president, 
We have Armando Rodriguez, our vice president, Cindy Zuniga. Yes. Our vice, vice president. Our secretary. Secretary, sorry. And we have Lucy Borrego, Miss Brian Barnes, and Miss Blanca Trout. Trout. And we're waiting for that vacancy, number yes. seven. And congratulations to Sergio Coronado, our new county commissioner. Congratulations. Right, and 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 uh, that you know that brings up the topic of, of this vacancy that we have on the on the school board. Mr. Coronado's uh, uh, swearing in at the county commissioners creates a vacancy on 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 our board, and you guys have decided to uh, take applications to consider people for appointment. You're going to to uh, review those and interview people. That's that's correct, and I'm encouraging anyone who's even remotely interested in applying for uh, uh, the process, the application process to to serve their community. Um, it's a, a, a wonderful place to be. Um, it takes a lot of work. It takes, um, you don't have to know anything about running a school district, but just the willingness to learn. Right, right. Just the willingness to learn to do your homework and to show up. It really is um, one of the most impactful ways to uh, to transform a community, serving Absolutely. on the school board. Absolutely. And and uh, making sure that we have people that have the, the heart to help not just children, but really uh, an entire community. Uh, school districts are impactful in many, many layered ways. It's not just children, it's mostly children, obviously, right? But right. But you know we have we have a thousand employees here. Right. We have families that we serve, uh, and we have uh, historic people that are connected to the school district that we serve as well. So so it's important for us to to make sure that we we take care of all of us. Right. Uh, and and this job can really really have a great impact on on the future of Canotillo. Right. Right. And I think this coming year we're looking at a lot of great things that are going to happen in our district. Um, I know that we need to start planning ahead for um, a possible another bond issue mm -hmm. and, um, and uh, filling that appointment uh, on the board is crucial. We need to do that as soon as possible because we got to hit the ground running. Right. We got to get ready for these babies that are coming. Every day. Every day. Well, I want to tell the, the anyone who's interested, uh, the deadline to submit an application for consideration is January 20th. And uh, the application and more information can be found on our website uh, under the news link. They, uh, they can click on the, on, on the new story that announces the vacancy there. Uh, so, so if you're interested, log on, fill it out by January 20th so that the school board can uh, uh, consider your, your application for well, appointment. Maybe, I was thinking, maybe if I'm lucky, I'll be the next Speaker of the House. Well, you know, you have just <laughs> as, as, as a, a good a chance, as good a chance as anyone right now, it looks. Uh, so, so that's... <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going on, but you know, um, you know, we welcome back our students this yeah. week. Uh, we welcome back our teachers. Uh, we had a we had an interesting sort of start of the school oh, year. We did. Uh, obviously, instructions happening in our classrooms, and 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 we're happy to have our, our teachers uh, lead the way. Uh, but we did have a couple of instances where we had to um, we had to uh, call on our our police department to to. Uh, to um, to call our, our uh, safety protocols, right? We had a secure protocol at Bill Childress on Wednesday. We had a lockdown at Diana Davenport on on Thursday. Both of those incidents were related to outside activities, not threats to the school, but they were. We we determined that for the safety of our students and staff, that it was best to 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 take these measures. Uh, fortunately, uh, neither one of those incidents created any sort of. Uh, um, uh, threat or incident at either one of those campuses. Uh, but Doc, uh, I think this goes to show two things. Uh, the fact that, that our schools are, are well prepared to handle emergencies, that, that our kids and our, uh, our teachers know what to do, and that our cops are really, really, uh, you know, working well within our community and with other stakeholders to make sure that that yeah. uh, our systems work. No, I, 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 correct. I mean, it's correct because you know, I, and 
and and when when a, a a baby goes into a school, when our babies walk into a school and their parents drop them off, our job is to make sure they walk back and get back in that truck or car and and smiling and love school every day. And, and unfortunately, in the world that we live in, there's bad people that want to do bad things. So again, working with our administrators, our staff, our teachers, thank you to all at BCE and Davenport and facilities too. Yes, and facilities. Bus drivers, our maintenance people that were there. That, you know, we're very fortunate that our, our PD department works with other local agencies and it was fast, you know, again, to, to secure the schools and lock down the schools to make sure that, you know, teaching and learning does happen. You know, Miss Patsy, you know, I, I was so uh, impressed with our, our police department they, they, you know, the, the, the secure protocol at BCE came uh, close to release time. So we were thinking, okay, you know, this is facilities and BCE, it impacts buses, buses it impacts the release at BCE. And uh, Chief Kluge with his team was able to do a control release so that the buses got out and, and there was very little impact to the way we deliver kids home. Uh, and of course, all the all the kiddos from BCE got home safe that day. Uh, so definitely, uh, kudos to to Chief Kugi uh, and 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 his team for for work well done, and both both Davenport and BCE and facilities for holding down the fort and doing the right thing and and, and being prepared. And go ahead, Nick. Very pleased with Officer Kluge and his department. Um, it. The, the time that I've been here, he is of utmost professional and he knows, you know, that our children's uh, safety is the first priority and his department has come through for us many times. Yeah, I like to and thank the families that, yeah. you know, that entrust their babies that during this time, you know, uh, um, trusted us and were patient and realized I'm sure you all received calls. Yes. Was going on social media. And well, and, 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 and Doug, this is a good opportunity for us to remind parents that it's very important that they update their contact information in Parent Portal, that they log in, give us their their, their latest phone number, their active phone number. Uh, uh, we know that this is uh, sometimes uh, a pain, but when an emergency comes, this is the number we're going to use to reach out okay. to you. Absolutely. You know, we did, we did get a couple of phone calls saying, like, you didn't let us know, like, Yes, we did. We, we sent out a call. We sent out an email <laughs> like, oh, that's an old email. That's an old phone number. Like, OK, you need to let us know because this is how, this is how we're reaching you. You know, it's important. It's and, and, and yes, I know that sometimes you, you, you say as a parent, like, I don't need another phone call about the, <laughs> you know, the, the bake sale or whatever it is. But at the end of the day, this is also the same number we use to let you know that we're in lockdown, that something's going down and to keep you informed. Uh, we're, we're continuing to work with principals to develop systems of communication for, for parents. I think we have a good plan right now where we, we communicate via social media, which is a, a, how most parents nowadays get, get their information, uh, and then follow up after, after the end of the day uh, with a more thorough explanation of what happened. Uh, you know, we're lucky that-, you know, that but I, I still want to get rid of all those keys. Yes. I still wish we could still lock down a school with just a push of a button. Lock we, down all. Yes, we definitely can do better, right? We we have we have plans to do so. Hopefully, uh, you know, we have support to to be able to do so from not just uh, uh, you know our people, but also the state and and other funding that we need to to upgrade our facilities in order to meet the safety and security needs that we have. Um, and, and and we're going to continue to work to improve these systems. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Miss Patsy, what would you like to say to other trustees or other kind of deal? Or I don't know how far we reach. We, we reach, reach the entire world we here. Reach the entire world. <laughs> what, what do you want to say? What do you want to leave us with? What do you... you know, Canutio is has always been for me a place that comes together in times of, of crisis and and over the past couple of years with COVID and, and that kind of thing, our community is pretty resilient. Um, and I know that, you know, maybe we didn't pass the, the, the things that we wanted to pass in the last election, 
but we're going to try again and we're going to keep on trying yeah because we have no other recourse we need to provide facilities for our students we need a safe environment yeah. um, for our students and so therefore i say adelante yes. we're going to go forward you know and 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 you know we we fully understand right that there's concerns and we're going to we're going to address those we're going to address those, but yes. but without a doubt, I think our driving force will always be uh, what needs to get done to help these children meet their academic goals. Absolutely. And Gus, Gustavo, I want to send my condolences oh, thank you, to your doggy, Nick, who yeah. was put down today. Yeah. It's, it's hard. It is hard. It's, you know, these hard. dogs are family, right? Yeah, and family. And, and uh, Nick, especially, was, uh, was a longtime partner of mine. She was uh, my dog for 12 years. Uh, so, so she was, she was with me for a while. She was a tough dog, uh, but you know, um, thank you, doc. Condolences. Thank you. Thank it's, you. It's hard. Dogs are part of the family. Oh yeah. Any pet really. Yeah. Is part of the family. You grow and you love them and, and they're unconditional. Right. They, that, right? that they are. are. They're the only ones that love yeah. you unconditionally. Yeah. <laughs> no matter what time No matter what. As, lo as long as you feed them, right? <laughs> <laughs> Great, great. Well, well, we'll close it off for this week. Uh, we're, we're looking forward to uh, this second half of the school year. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Let's kick butt this uh, this semester. Uh, we have a lot of work to do, and uh, we'll see you Let's next go. week. Bye. Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Patsy.